But I told Danny Elfman that I'm thinking about remaking Psycho. And he said, they will kill you. Back then in the mid nineties, the movie business wanted more and more profits. And the best way to kind of get the audience in as a group was to maybe make a film about something that they all already knew about, like the Flintstones. Wilma, I'm home! It sort of angered me that the business had been going in that direction without maybe doing it in a different fashion because they're gonna show you the Brady Bunch, but they're going to just leave the real Brady Bunch behind. So I was in a meeting with Casey Silver at Universal. I suggested that rather than make remakes or continuations of stories, that they actually use the film as a template and shoot it exactly as it was shot. Just leave the contribution of not just the story, but the screenwriter and the director as well, and the cinematographer. Keep those elements in there, which sounded crazy to them. You don't have the faintest idea of what you're talking about. Why, thank you. It's all right. It wasn't until after Good Will Hunting that that same idea, when pitched to Casey Silver, who thought I was crazy, all of a sudden that idea had merit. You know, they thought it was a great idea because Good Will Hunting was making money. So they thought, Van Sant can make money, let him do Psycho. And then it didn't make money. But if it wasn't successful, it would have gotten the studios busy remaking frame by frame other movies, which might have been a nightmare. I was just going to say that had you succeeded, I'm afraid of what the outcome would have been. Yeah, it might have been horrible, yeah.